I'm Evan Reese. And I'm Casey Clark. We are students here at St. Mary's High School. And we are here to talk about what you, the incoming freshmen, need to know before you get to high school. What do you think they should know, Evan? Well, Casey, I think that the freshmen need to know that there's a lot of opportunities here at St. Mary's High School, and they really need to take advantage of them here for the next four years. What do you think they should know, Casey? I think the freshmen should know everything, and they will learn everything by watching this video. <laughs> Alright, well here's what some other students think freshmen should know before they get to high school. Bring a hoodie to school. It is always cold in the science rooms. Three pieces of advice for upcoming freshmen is, ask questions, don't be afraid to fail, and always take wood shot. My advice to incoming freshmen would be to find a good role model or someone you can look up to, like Tony and Sueda, or Suwon Turntine. If you see a possum, kill it. It's not a pet. And ELE, everybody love everybody. Whatever you do, do not start a food fight. It never turns out good. I believe the upcoming freshmen should eat right, study hard, and exercise fit for 60 minutes a day. Get into an ACT prep class. That way you can get a higher score, thus getting you more scholarships and more money for college. Man, those students sure do know what they're talking about. I'd say so. Hey Casey, do you know what classes you need to graduate? Well, I sure do, but I'm just a junior, and you little duffers may not be sure what all you need to graduate. How about we ask Mr. Steele? He should know what we need to do. Requirements for graduation. To graduate from St. Mary's High School, you need 27 credits in order to graduate. Of those credits, four need to be in language arts, which is going to be basically freshman English, sophomore English, junior English, and senior English. Sen senior English or college prep English count as well. Um, you'll need three math three science and three social science. Those are your cores. Remaining you'll have to have a fine art which would be something band, music, art itself, uh, a computer uh, credit you'll need. Um, then you'll have various electives that you can go ahead and take to fulfill and complete your 20, 27 credits. Um, we do press on students that they try to take the Regents or what's known as also as Qualified Admissions Curriculum and that just ensures that they, upon completion of and graduation at St. Mary's High School, that any regents or any basically any university in the state of Kansas, they would be accepted if they've taken the curriculum that meets their requirements. Um, there's also the state scholars curriculum, um, and we do press students to take as many classes and courses on that. And that's going to also include some foreign language and additional math and science courses. Um, all said, basically the more rigorous the coursework that you take, the more math, sciences, and so forth, and uh, upper level classes that you can take, the better off you are for post-secondary um, pursuits. <sighs> that Mr. Steele is quite the intellect. So Casey, it's game day all. How about we have a good game today? <clears throat> Those chest pumps always give me pop! It feels good to be involved and it makes me a better student. There are many sports and groups here at St. Mary's that fits into everybody's characteristics. Let's see what all we have to offer. I didn't realize how many opportunities the school has. I guess St. Mary's High realizes how important it is to be involved. Here's Mr. Albright with more on being involved. It's important for students to be involved in activities for several reasons. Uh, one, research shows that students who are involved in activities tend to have higher uh, grades in school and do better with uh, just all around academically. 
um, and their dropout rates are less, are lower for students that are involved. Secondly, it's important for students to get involved because it helps teach them life skills such as uh, planning, time management, uh, being part of a team, uh, things of that nature. So when you do have a chance to get involved to make sure that you are uh, trying out new things, uh, maybe even old things, but get involved in whatever way you can. Do my what are you? Do my happy dance because I'm so happy to be a student here at St. Mary's. Some other things incoming freshmen need to know is that AR is even more important here than it is in junior high. AR goals are important for high school students for two reasons. The first one is the grade. 10% uh, of every English grade is based on AR points, just reaching your goal. So obviously if you don't get your AR goal, that affects your grade in a negative way. Uh, the second reason I think is just because it helps people further their reading. Uh, I've seen a lot of improvement just from the beginning of the year to the end of the year in some students. So when you look at that over your entire high school career, I think that if you're taking it seriously as a freshman, it's just going to help you become a better reader. Uh, and then in the end, obviously it's part of your grade, so um, I think a lot of kids are pretty knowledgeable of it and, and think about it quite a bit just because they want to help their GPA because that's something that will probably follow them even out of high school. So AR is important for a lot of reasons, but definitely for those too. Oh man, it's a good thing I got my AR goal. Cool. That's true. Do you know what time it is now, Evan? Oh, well, I'd say it's about time for six hours, um, which is our college course trick. Uh, one of the many college courses available here at St. Mary's. Man, that's cool. What other electives and college courses are available? Personally, I don't know the entire list, but Mrs. Hurla does, and here's what she has to say. Some of the electives that we offer here for incoming freshmen are um, classes such as Art 1, which is an introductory art class. Um, we have industrial tech classes, which is kind of like the old woodshop classes that you might be familiar with. Um, we have Intro to Ag with Mr. Goody. That's pretty popular for the incoming freshmen. Um, there's family consumer science courses. Um, every student's required to take graphic design um, as your intro computer class, but that carries on into some higher tech computer classes which are pretty fun um, that would involve things like this interview that I'm doing right now. Um, you know, there's a band and the choir, there's Spanish one. You'll take PE as a freshman, but you can move on into the weightlifting courses later on. And then what's nice here is that as you get to be a senior and you've kind of exhausted some of our electives, we offer online college courses for our students, um, and our upper level math and science courses become electives as a senior because you you've finished up your requirements that are three science and three math. So for a small school, you'll find lots of opportunities. Mrs. Hurl is so cool and smart. For real though, she has helped me out so much throughout high school. You know what else has helped you? One, your respect for the school. Aw, thanks, Evan. Every freshman needs to learn to always pick up after themselves and respect their school and their peers just like you, Casey. Well, I learned it all from Mr. McConaughey, and here's his words of wisdom for the incoming freshman. Coming in as a freshman can be very nerve-wracking. I remember my first days and how nervous I was coming into the classroom and what is the teacher going to expect from me. Really, the biggest thing that we as a teacher expect from you as a freshman next year is for you guys just to come in and have the drive to want to learn. And by doing that, you can show us that you respect us in our classroom and not only just the classroom but the school in general. You know, respect comes not just by saying Mr. and Mrs. and things like that, but by cleaning up after yourself and showing that you actually do care about the the good side of the school. By the time you leave here as a senior, what you will want to take from us is not only what you've learned in the classroom, but also from becoming a individual person and how well do you work with others. Respect will translate from not only the high school but into any job you have, any college or school you may go to. That will take you be beyond any wealth of knowledge you have. The respect shows that you are actually mature enough to step up to the next level. And maturity is what we really want to see out of you guys and we know that we can get that out of you if you just take the time to really want to. So the more fun you have, the better as long as you realize what it takes to be a respectful, mature adult at the same time. Wow, that Mr. McConaughey sure knows a lot about respect. I wish I would have gotten all this advice before I got into high school. 
That's true. But at least we can inform these future classes here at SMHS. Well, once again, I'm Casey Clark. And I'm Evan Brees. And I hope you guys enjoy your next four years here at High School.